Greetings to your viewers and welcome to another fascinating video. Today, we're diving deep into the world of ancient Mesoamerican weaponry, focusing on the fearsome Macuahuitl. This extraordinary weapon, refined by the Aztecs, played a crucial role in their military conquests and spiritual practices. So buckle up and prepare to be amazed as we journey back in time to uncover the secrets of the Macuahuitl. Long ago, in the annals of Mesoamerican history, ancestors of the Toltecs and Maya devised weapons to wage war and conduct sacred rites. Yet, it was the Aztecs who seized upon these primitive tools, perfecting the Macuahuitl and enshrining it within their military doctrine. Nomads from Mexico's northwestern realms, the Aztecs founded their empire during the 14th century, swiftly conquering neighboring lands through force and shrewd alliances, and at the heart of their war machine lay the Macuahuitl. Imagine, if you will, a wooden paddle both wide and long, stretching as much as 3.5 feet 1.1 meters, and spanning a breadth of 3 inches 7.6 centimeters. Encrusted along its edges were obsidian shards, honed to a razor's edge and held fast with adhesives and cotton thread. In the grasp of an adept warrior, this instrument unleashed a storm of punctures and slashes, enough to strike terror into the hearts of their foes. Diverse in design, the Macuahuitl's one-handed variant was complemented by the formidable Tepostapili, a two-handed behemoth favored by high-ranking soldiers for its superior reach and might. In battle, the Aztecs wielded the Macuahuitl with death precision, closing in to strike enemies with both crushing force and razor-sharp cuts. The obsidian blades able to cleave flesh and sever limbs wrought havoc in close-quarters combat. Yet the weapon's significance transcended its military utility. The Aztec god of war, Huitzilopochtli, was said to brandish a turquoise macuahuitl, and sacrificial rites saw the weapon employed to dispatch captives, enshrining its role within the empire's spiritual sphere. Alas, the macuahuitl's reign drew to an abrupt end with the 16th century advent of the Spanish conquistadors. Outclassed by advanced firearms and European metallurgy, the once mighty weapon faded into obsolescence. The Aztec Empire's decline and subsequent annihilation consigned the knowledge and skill to craft the Macuahuitl to the shadows of history. And then you have it, folks. We hope you enjoyed exploring the captivating history and unique design of the Macuahuitl. This formidable weapon, once a symbol of Aztec power, now lives on as a testament to their ingenuity and craftsmanship. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more riveting content. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.